cotton stocking net to protect the skin, roll all the way up to the groin. The toes are bandaged with a 4 cm or 6 cm toe bandage, depends on the toe size. After fixing once around the forefoot, the bandage is wrapped around the big toe 3 or 4 times until the skin cannot be seen underneath. Then the bandage is wrapped around the foot, from the dorsum to the next toe. All toes are bandaged in a similar manner. If the toes are small, the bandage can be folded in half, then only two layers need to be applied. Try to avoid getting creases in the gauze. Let the excess bandage run proximal over the foot. The stocking net is then pulled down over the foot. The under padding material is the cotton padding, beginning at the metatarsal head. Keep the foot in 90 degrees bend. Wrap the cotton padding over the top of the foot and towards the malleolus. Go two rounds over the wound area for more padding.
Flex the knee from 40 to 60 degrees and wrap the whole leg in cotton padding to smooth the cotton along the way and 50% overlap. The cotton padding should reach all the way up to the groin. The first short stretch bandage for the foot is normally an 8 cm width, depending on the size of the foot. Wrap two times around the base of the foot with light pull. Now wrap the bandage around the ankle and return to the forefoot. Repeat this pattern, keeping a 1 cm gap between layers, creating a fish scale pattern. Move the foot and ankle off the therapy table to make it easier to bandage. The patient has to keep the foot in 90 degrees bend. Overlap the same area over the ankle until most of the heel of the foot is covered. Finish the first bandage on the lower cuff. Fix the end of the bandage with tape. To bandage the lower leg, we continue to use 10 cm bandage. Cover the whole leg with 50% overlap. Light pull on both sides of the bandage. The knee is flexed from 40 to 50 degrees. Check for equal pressure over the leg and equal overlapping. Try to avoid any creasing. To get an equal pressure and crease-free application, it is recommended to smooth the bandage out with the other hand. Always start with the tail of the bandage facing up, so the end of the bandage is buried. Remember to only apply light pull on both sides of the bandage. Continue bandage all the way up to the groin. After bandage, check the range. 
You should feel general tightness from the bandage but should not restrict your movement.